Hey loves, Kim here and I'm back with another video. So if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Hi, my name is Kim. I am a Sims 4 gamer. And today I wanted to like get in here and do kind of like a first reaction exploration type video on the major update. Apparently we have new customizable skin tones i mean we all know that this update was coming but you know there's been a lot of speculation of how it's actually going to be how is it going to enhance the game how is it going to create so much more variation so much more diversity so just so many different ways to express skin tones in this game which has really been an issue since this game has launched so I'm super excited to get in here and just like play around and cast and see what it is. So I do have a reshade mod in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my, turn off my whatchamacallit. Okay, there we go. So reshade is off. So we can kind of get like a true look in the skin tones and things like that. So I um, updated my game. If you haven't done that, be sure to do that. If you have any mods, take it out the mods folder, update your game, then put your mods back. Super simple stuff, but it says it's a major update, create customizable skin tones and makeup palettes with new swatches and tools. The um, UI looks different for the home screen. So very interesting. This is gonna get a little getting used to, but hey, that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and start a new game. And let's get into these skin tones, honey. Um, so, we got to this guy here. Let's go ahead and, ooh. Okay, so we have our warm tones, neutral, cool tones, and miscellaneous. So these are like our not typical human skin tones here with the blues and the greens. But you guys. Okay, so we have so much more variety. So much more variety. So it's like warm tones. Those are people with like a yellowy um undertone neutrals usually people who have kind of like a pinky undertone and cool but those are people that have kind of like a olivey type of undertone so yeah you guys i i love this i love this we just have so much variety oh okay what's this slide to customize color let's see oh interesting so Oh, so this one kind of has like a reddish base. And it's like the sliders let you kind of like slide through and like give slight variations. I like this because this is going to work really well for like families, like siblings. Like, I don't know about you, but... I don't know me and my siblings we have different skin tones like obviously like a lot of our facial features are similar like our bone structure and things like that is very similar but we do have slightly different skin tones and I like this so like all of my family doesn't look like carbon copies of themselves but I can still keep the skin tones close I like this so delete what what is it deleting oh can I make like a <gasps> I can make a custom skin tone? Hold on, wait, that's what I'm getting from here. So let me see. Hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Okay, so actually really like this right there. <gasps> Ooh, you guys, we can make custom skin tone swatches. <laughs> I'm so excited. Y'all, you guys, okay. I love that. I love this. I love the fact that like we can save our skin tones and like we can truly, truly customize it. Like this opens up so many opportunities. Like it truly, truly does. Ooh. Yes, you guys, I'm loving this. I'm like, I'm just blown away. I think so far, like my favorite feature is being able to save custom swatches like i love that i wonder if this is going to transfer between saved files because if it does that could be a game changer that could really be a game changer not having to like try to find the exact skin tone that you um created but i just love the fact that there's so many different varieties here 
like from really really deep skin tones to um, lighter skin tones I just love the fact that we have this much controllability and like this is literally going to be a game changer like I feel like I'm not gonna say there's no limits, but there are so many more possibilities that we have now. Just being able to like customize skin tones. And if you're not sure like what does it mean to have like a skin cool tone. So this is like the middle of the um, cool skin tone. This is the lightest swatch. This is neutral. So I'm not sure if you can see the subtle differences, but this one has more like a peachy undertone for the neutrals. The cool, it looks a little bit kind of like a bluish, grayish undertone. So I'm not sure if you can quite tell. But it's just like the tone of it is different. And then for warm in the lightest swatch, it's more of like a yellowy base. But this is this is like amazing. I love the fact that we have um, just different undertones. Like this is really going to help with jewelry too. Like kind of like a rule of thumb with jewelry. Obviously wear whatever you want, do whatever you want. But those with warmer undertones tend to look better with gold jewelry and those with cooler undertones tend to look better with silver jewelry. And neutral of course has the best of both worlds. But again, wear whatever you want. So like with your custom swatches, like one once it's there, you can't like slide them. There's no slider there, but it's fine. It's it's totally fine. You can do whatever you want. I mean, if you don't like the swatch, you can obviously delete it. You guys, this this is huge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if this is going to transfer to a new save file. All right, you guys. So I'm back to the main menu. I do have that save file. It just says save game 28, just to show you that I did save the previous game. Let's go into a new game and see if those same swatches will come up. Um, we're gonna go ahead and skip the story mode. Go to face. All right, so it doesn't appear that those swatches transfer from game file to game file. Just putting that out there, if that's something you were looking for, um, it doesn't. I mean, it starts over, but still, I mean, this is a, an amazing tool, like truly, truly an amazing tool. What I did notice here is that we have some more subcategories. So we have all of our skin tones here. It looks like this separates it just by the warm tones the neutral tones, the cool tones, and the miscellaneous tones. So yeah, you guys, I mean, I'm really, really digging this feature. Did we get anything else new? Oh, it did say we can customize makeup palette. So wait, <laughs> before I go somewhere, yes, okay. Okay, so let me see, does this like apply to all makeup? You guys, this applies to all makeup, so it looks like we have the um, standard swatches here. What does it say? Okay, we can change the hue, the opacity, saturation, the brightness, and then of course we can add and delete swatches. So let's play with this. My favorite um, in-game eyeshadow is actually the one from the base game. This is probably my favorite here. Let me get rid of her eyelashes. I hate the in-game eyelashes. Okay, so yeah, going back to the makeup. So I'm going to start adjusting the hue. You guys, did you see that? Can I like get any closer? No, I think this is the closest that we can get. But like, did y'all see how it switched from brown to like this green hue? You guys, this is dope. Like we, we are getting more expanded options for makeup. This is so overdue. Let me see, let me do it with the red. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> you guys, I am loving this. Okay, let's um, play around with the opacity. So opacity just basically means how um, transparent or how non-transparent this is gonna be. So if you want your makeup to look like lighter, maybe like your sim isn't into heavy makeup, but they kind of like the overall look, you can change the opacity and it brings down the intensity of the color. I love this. Let me get rid of that for a second so you can really see the eyeshadow. All right, so that's opacity. 
this is saturation so basically how vibrant or how dull the color appears oh wow I love the saturation all the way up on this because it's like it's like so in your face it's like BAM <laughs> I love this I love it okay and then this is the brightness so obviously how bright or how dark something is so you can come in with like some really, really muted kind of vampy tones like this. You could go for something really like vibrant and playful and like just really out there. And of course, when you find something you like, you can go ahead and save it. And then you have a brand new swatch and you know it's a new swatch when it has like this little tab in the corner, you guys. This is like, <laughs> this is truly, truly game changing and it looks like the same thing for the um, eyeliners. Ooh, I don't really like that with that, but you know, if we play around with some things, we can get some pretty decent colors going on, you guys. Like some really cool combos. I mean, you could truly make some customized looks. I know I personally struggle a lot with makeup. Like I always put my Sims in either this eyeshadow or the glittery eyeshadow from the Luxury Party Pack. And you guys, like this, this just gives so much more variety. I mean, I do feel like there's gonna be like my signature styles that I just go to, but having more than just the default swatch it's it's truly truly amazing you guys like I'm so here for this like I can see myself playing around in cast for like hours just because of all of these new features let's see about let me just put a black liner on and let me get a better liner than this yeah we'll just go with that for now same thing with the cheeks I'm assuming yeah so it looks like it's those same categories it looks like with this one the hue category is um, kind of blurred out I'm not quite sure why I can't change the hue of that one is that for all of them oh no okay so I guess some of them some of the features won't be um, able to change um, but for some for some of the others, like all of the features are available. So that's the thing. I just wanted to put that out there. But yeah, we still had a hue, opacity, saturation, and brightness. So, I mean, I just love it. And like, I, I can't wait to get into the lips, you guys. Because I feel like the lips, the lipsticks is like a department where we're truly, truly struggling in um, as far as colors. Because there are so many different skin tones and outfits to match lips. Lip, like, I feel like matching your lipstick to your outfit is just a perfect combo for like a really bold look. And now that we have all of these tools to like really go in and customize everything, you guys. Like, I feel like... I feel like we're gonna really be able to just go in. Let me see, let me go to this MAC lipstick. Oh, I am in the MAC lipstick. So this is like the two-tone one. So when I adjust the hue, that top lip is still slightly a different color. Good, okay, I was worried about that changing. But we have so much range, and I feel like especially with the lipstick, if you turn down the opacity, you can easily make it look like a gloss <laughs> and like I feel like that's definitely going to give us so much more range to play with these lip looks my favorite in-game lipstick surprisingly is this lined lip from the realm of magic I just like it because it's so bold like it makes your lips just look so they look so pouty to me because the um, lip lining is so bold but it's like now I can go in and like play with the opacity and now it looks like more of a gloss so like I feel like this is just like some ways to play around and get the most out of the makeup you guys and like I'm here for it like now that really bold purple lip is like a really cute mauve light like light lip gloss you guys like <laughs> like I'm tumbling over my words because I'm super duper excited for this I'm I'm like so here for this like I feel like this up date has really breathed in some new light for the in-game makeup because you guys you all know the struggle for in-game makeup now what I need them to do next is get us some better eyelashes I hate the in-game eyelashes they just ugh, 
if if you know you know we need more realistic looking eyelashes but you know let's go on to the face paint and i'm assuming it's pretty much the same concept yeah we still have those same things i really don't deal with the face paint all too often to be honest not unless i'm doing something very very specific but the option is there all right you guys so i decided to hop into game i created a couple of clones of our initial sim here just to see um just like a range of deeper skin tones this is the same exact swatch i just played around um on the slider to get the different tones and i wanted to see about the artifacting now the only makeup that this sim is wearing is eye and lip makeup there is no cheek makeup because i know that is where a lot of the artifacting was happening happening on the cheeks around the mouth and like in between the eyebrows so there is no face makeup so let's go ahead and check it out so this is our original model here um, with the deepest skin tone and honestly it doesn't look bad to me I mean her skin looks pretty good I mean it is kind of like broken up a little bit around the brows i'm not sure if that's the game trying to capture different tones of skin because we all know skin itself isn't just flat it has different variations in it you know so i mean but as far as the artifact thing i don't really see it so much on this deepest skin tone um I won't be able to show every single variation that's just kind of impossible but just for my initial sim I mean I think she looks pretty good now let's move over to the next skin tone so this one is a little bit lighter and it does appear to be a little bit more artifacting on this sim let's go ahead and zoom in so yeah I see a lot of artifacting like around on the cheek areas um, that's where I'm mainly seeing it on this sim but yeah like on the cheeks you can really really tell let me zoom out some and like ooh yeah between like the forehead and like towards the outer part of this sims face it's really really noticeable the artifacting I mean let me know in the comments if you guys see what I see but it's, it's not the best on this sim. I'm not sure if also um, this sim just might have like a more red undertone. But that separation is it's not the best. Um, I do see a little bit of artifacting around the mouth. But it's not as bad as it was in my opinion. But it's, it's terrible like around the forehead. Let's go back to that first sim. Yeah, that first sim, I mean, there is a little bit of, like, variation, but it's not nearly as bad as this second sim. Like, it's really, really noticeable on this second sim here. Alright, let's go over to the third sim. So, this skin tone is a little bit lighter. And... I mean, I do see some splotchiness in the middle of the forehead. Um, it's not as bad as the second sim. There's a little bit of splotchiness around the cheek, but again, it's not as bad. Um, but yeah, I think on this skin tone, um, it's like the worst around the forehead. Um, I do see that separation between the forehead and like the outer edge of the face. You could definitely see where it's breaking up. But um, so far, the second sim had the worst as far as artifacting is concerned, in my opinion. Now, let's go over to this sim here. So, this sim has the lightest skin tone. Um, it appears that they are the same skin color, but in fact, this sim's um, undertone is lighter. I drug it all the way to the right side of the slider. So, let's go ahead and get a closer look into this sim. I mean, yeah, I do see a little bit of separation around the forehead area, a little bit of splotchiness around the cheeks, but it's not as bad as it was before, but I do clearly see that separation. Let me know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. I mean, overall, I think that this was definitely a good step in the right direction to have these varying skin tones. There are still some issues with artifacting and splotchiness and things like that. Uh, I would say out of all four of these sims, let's go ahead and just look at all four of them together. This sim here, second from the left, definitely has the worst um, artifacting. 
like even from back here like this sims artifact thing is definitely most noticeable in my opinion but definitely let me know what you guys think about this um overall i am enjoying this update i love the fact that we have all of these features where we're able to save skin tones and we're able to play around with undertones and we have so much more control with the makeup but there are still some issues with the artifacting i don't know if it's just my game i don't know if it's just this particular skin tone that i came up with maybe her undertone is just really really red i don't know but it's definitely most noticeable on this sim here but anyway you guys i am going to go ahead and wrap up here if you made it this far in the video i just want to say thank you all so so much for watching don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. It helps me and the channel out more than you know. And feel free to subscribe and be sure to click that bell. That way you never miss an upload from me. And as always, you guys, I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.